top 10 things you need to know about plagiarism. <laughs> Number one, plagiarism is considered theft. So we looked at thesaurus.com, cite that, for some other words that describe plagiarism. Uh, in copyright infringement, stealing, piracy, being a jerk face was listed there. Number two, you cannot recreate works without permission. Penn State University's website, cite that, says, under copyright law, if you do not own the copyright to a work, you cannot dot 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 create derivative works based on the work. So you can't just take somebody else's work, recreate it, and then cite it and say, and think you're fine. You can't just steal a TV and then go and say, I took it from Walmart and expect to be fine. Number three, the work has to be destroyed. So according to Title 17, Chapter 5 of the United States Code, if you violate a copyright, you can't just be like, oops, sorry, let me post a little something down here and then everything's fine. The work has to be destroyed. We need to see video of you pulling out a hard drive and smashing it like Shia LaBeouf style. No, really, but the work does have to be destroyed, has to be taken down, it's gotta be gone uh, if there's a problem. You can't just kinda try to tweak it a little bit, that doesn't work. Number four, trademarks and copyrights are two completely different things. So a trademark defines some sort of visual asset for something, like a logo or something like that, and it has to be marked as such. Whether it's registered or not, it needs to have the TM logo to actually offer some sort of protection. You need to indicate that you're trying to protect it. A copyright is for some sort of work that you produce. So say a book or movie or a game or some sort of artistic piece uh, that's not your company brand, that is where copyright comes in and that's a different thing. So don't use them interchangeably, they're not the same. And anytime you write something down, it's protected under copyright. That is your intellectual property. Number five, names and dates are considered common knowledge so you can't plagiarize them. But that's kind of weird because nobody can ever remember that stuff. Number six, YouTube's new rules on disputes. So on YouTube's blog site that, they mentioned that content ID disputes about something are handled in a little bit different way for monetization now. Instead of just giving the money to one side or the other till it's figured out, they hold the money in reserve until the dispute is resolved and then that money goes to the person who won the dispute. So that way it's just more fair and this is a better way for them to handle it and kudos to YouTube for fixing that after 10 years. Number seven, fair use. This is like a YouTube buzzword. Basically what fair use means is that you can use clips or pictures or quotes of something that you are giving a commentary on or creating a satire of. Those are really the only two ways that you can use it but it's still very useful very broad in that commentary section so a good example would be like a news channel or the YouTube drama channels if you want to call those news they take a video and they talk about it and they're able to use that pieces of that video for commentary on that video that is fair use fair use does not however include cover songs because you are not creating a commentary of that um, and I do I think it's a pretty gray area for satires of songs too that's not really good I know Weird Al always gets mechanical licenses anytime he does a satire of a song so it's that's kind of falls into the cover song area number eight self plagiarism I bet you didn't even know this was a thing yes you can plagiarize yourself and basically what this comes down to is if you produce content exclusively for one platform and you have an agreement and then you produce content that is too similar on another platform that has exclusivity of that content then you can be guilty of self plagiarism uh, people have been fined a lot of money for this so it is something you definitely want to avoid and if you have a contractual obligation to a company for some content then they will protect that one example is Octavio Rocca or Roca I don't know I don't know how to say that and he basically wrote an article for one newspaper then wrote another article for another newspaper that was pretty much the same thing and another one uh, very heavily documented on the internet if you want to look this up is Jonah Lehrer 
why, why do these people have terrible to, to say last names? Uh, maybe that's illegal too. You might want to be careful about your last name. I guess I'm really not one to talk. Links below. Jonah Lair, check him out. Worked for Wired. Uh, he got in trouble too. Naughty, naughty. Number nine, citations. This is uh, being talked about more and more these days. Because some people just don't know how to do it. Some people don't know they need to do it. Some people just don't care. What you want to do is you want to make sure you are citing works properly whenever it's necessary to do so. Uh, link in the description on a good article on citations. I don't really want to bore you with all that stuff right here because that would just suck. So check out the link, but know that you do have to properly cite it. You can't just say blah, blah, blah from blah, blah, blah's website. Okay, there's, there's a proper way to do it to protect yourself. Number 10, you can go to jail for this. Plagiarism is a jailable offense. Um, you can serve time. You can cost yourself a serious amount of money. In 2009, a guy named Adam Wheeler plagiarized his way into Harvard. And then he got a jail sentence. He only served about a month of it. And then they let him out and said, okay, you know, we we'll let you out. You seem like a sharp kid. Go. Don't do something stupid again. What did he do? He went and did something stupid again. He went and put on his resume that he had gone to Harvard. And so basically he violated his parole and then ended up spending like two and a half years in jail. With, uh, well, or in prison rather, you don't hang out in jail for two and a half years. In prison, he did hard time for this and then 10 years of probation. So he had one job, not to say the word Harvard and he couldn't stop himself two and a half years in jail. Thank you for watching this. Stay safe, stay smart. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you check out the next video we're gonna do, we're actually gonna have a discussion of why this is really important for us small YouTubers to get right, right off the bat, and not have any problems with our videos. Yeah, it's important. You wanna start your career off on the right foot, you can make errors early on that jeopardize you down the road. So, so we just wanna help you be smart. Yeah, so we'll be having a little shirt. I forgot to put one on. But anyway, we'll be having a little discussion about this whole plagiarism and other stuff like that in the next video. So be sure to check that out. It's coming out later this week. All right, guys. Thank you so much. We'll talk to you. And don't forget video. to say hi to the roosters in the comments. Yeah. I love those roosters. They've been saying hi to you the whole time.